I understood right, I have to stay in a chair. I <laughs> choose the part with the uh, talk. So, improv starts from nothing. It starts from, from the empty stage. And it's nothing, nothing more mysterious than the empty stage. We have this tendency to go to our crusted selves. And I think that is what we try to overcome here. I have the feeling that my connection to the world is made when I play improv. And if my world's here and the other world's here, improv is just a bridge to be sometimes in the world. <laughs> <laughs> and I believe improvisers are better people than normal people. <laughs> <laughs> we improvisers, we're, we're a funny lot. We do this kind of weird games like uh, handing a clap to each other. And when we notice that we can actually do it, we think like this is no more fun. We're going to make it a little bit more difficult so we start making mistakes. And this has, I think, two big bonuses. That one is you step out of your comfort zone, which is the way to learn. You always push yourself further to get out of that comfort zone. And on the other hand, you get very comfortable making mistakes. You get very comfortable with the idea of standing up on a stage and doing something that you actually can't do and that might very well fail. <laughs> Improv tells you this thing about like, try to find what you're not good at, what you're not comfortable at, and go for that. And uh, you're a cook, you're a police officer, you're um, whatever, and you've never done it before. You get all these weird inputs. Uh, everyone is crazy and, and, and maybe uh, traumatized, <laughs> the people you play with, and they throw things at you and you have to decide what you're going to do. It was a father and a daughter. The father was trying to calm the daughter down, and I saw that every time he took a step, she took a, she took a step, right? She was crying, she was scared, she was upset, and she starts to panic, really panic. And the father, he just didn't understand. He didn't understand that he had to give her space. We don't let children raise their hand to ask a question. We learn them that you just feel the moment and is it okay to ask a question? Is someone else talking? Then wait with your question. And in my classroom, they don't raise fingers anymore. They just listen and act. Look at the other person and see what their, what, what their feelings are, what their, who they are and, and, and play your part and play, play with, your, with, the, with, the, with the others and, and do it together. And, those skills maybe saved a life at that day. <laughs> I'm glad to be one of the people who let improv change his life and the relation to the world. That's it. Um, does someone, yeah, I, I feel like a good closing act because it just tells every, everything and the, and the rest, uh, in the contrary. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of everything. <laughs>